Glory to Jesus Christ. Today we'll be reading the gospel for the fourth Sunday after Pentecost, uh, which is Matthew uh, 8, verses 5 to 13, uh, and then reading the commentary from the blessed Theophylax. So the gospel for the fourth Sunday after Pentecost. Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word, <clears throat> and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. And I say to you that many will come from east and west and sit down <clears throat> with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the sons of the kingdom will be cast out into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. Uh, and then the commentary from uh, the blessed Theophilact, uh, first verses 5 and 6. And when Jesus entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion, beseeching him and saying, This man too did not approach Jesus while on the mountain to avoid interrupting the teaching. This is the same man mentioned by Luke in chapter 7, uh, 1 to 10. Although Luke says that the centurion sent to Jesus others who were elders, this does not contradict Matthew, who says that the centurion himself came to Jesus. For it is altogether likely that first he sent others, and then, when death was imminent, he himself came and said, Lord, my servant lies at home, a paralytic, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion did not bring his servant lying on his bed to Jesus, as he believed that Jesus could heal him even from a distance. Therefore, and this is verses 8 to 10, the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under the roof of my house, but speak the word only, and my servant will be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me, and I say to this man, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes. And to my servant do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Truly I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. The centurion says, If I, ha if I who am the servant of the emperor command the soldiers who are under me, how much more so are you able to command death and the illnesses, so that they depart from one and beset another? For illnesses of the body are God's soldiers and officers of punishment. Christ marvels, therefore, saying, I have not found such great faith among the Israelites as I have seen in this Gentile. And then verses 11 to 12. And I say to you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit at table with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the sons of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Jesus did not say outright, many Gentiles shall sit at table, but he said it in a roundabout manner, so as not to scandalize the Jews. Many shall come from the east and west. He mentioned Abraham to show that he does not stand in opposition to the Old Testament. By saying outer darkness, he shows that there is also an inner darkness which is less severe. For in hell there are varying degrees of punishment. He calls the Jews the sons of the kingdom, for the promises of the Old Testament were made to them. He is saying, Israel is my firstborn son. And then verse 13, And he said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done unto you. And his servant was healed at that same hour. And when the centurion returned to his house, he found his servant well. By healing the servant by his word alone, Jesus showed that he also spoke the truth when he said that the Jews would be cast out from the kingdom.
This is the gospel for the fourth Sunday after Pentecost. Glory to Jesus Christ.